how to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. Today let's replace the Asus ROG Zephyrus M15 GU502L laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop in 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. You can wash your hands or wear gloves before starting to disassemble the laptop, or use an anti-static wristband to prevent static electricity. Have the back of your laptop facing up and prepare a PH1 screwdriver. Remove the 14 screws as shown in the video, the 7 in the middle are long screws, and the remaining 7 on the 3 sides are short ones. The bottom right screws can only be loosened, but not removed completely. Use a magnetic mat to sort and place the screws and avoid confusion or losing them. When opening the laptop casing, prepare a pry tool. Lay the computer flat, start from the top left corner. Align the pry tool with the casing gap and insert it. Move along the bottom and slide to open, then gently use your hand to remove the bottom cover. Once the bottom cover is open, prepare a spudger to unplug the laptop power cable. First, push up the top metal cover, then gently lift the connector up. After unplugging the power, press the power button to discharge. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. First, tear off the tapes around the fan. Use a spudger to disconnect the two antennas near the left fan. Next, remove the three screws from both hinges. Gently lift the body to separate the hinges and the body. Then, remove the nine screws on the heatsink in sequence. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane. Apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. After that, gently pry around the heat pipe. Remove the entire heat sink. Lift it slowly with even force to avoid damaging the motherboard. As you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after several years of use, decreasing its cooling efficiency. To more efficiently clean the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. The original user has already replaced the liquid metal with thermal paste. If you are cleaning liquid metal, you need to be extra careful to avoid spilling on the motherboard and causing a short circuit. Thermal putty is used for cooling the components around the CPU and GPU since these chips generate less heat. If you decide to replace the thermal putty with thermal paste, we recommend buying the 2.1ml large size cooling monster cold 01 thermal paste, and the separately packaged clean 01 cleaning wipes just in case the cleaning wipes run out. Step 4, clean the fan. Remove the two screws from the left fan. Disconnect the power cord and take off the fan. Do the same for the right side. First, tear off the insulating tape below. Remove the two screws. Then disconnect the ribbon cable and take off the fan. Use an anti-static brush to clean the dust on the surface and fan blades. You can also use compressed air, remember to keep some distance to avoid liquid spraying out. Next, clean the heatsink. You can see that a lot of dust has accumulated in the cooling fins. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. Make sure the thermal paste can completely cover the surface of the chips after applying. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6, Reassemble your laptop. Next, follow the same steps in reverse to reinstall the fan and heat sink. Install the two screws of the left fan, plug in the power cord, and apply the insulating tape. Follow the same steps for the right side fan. Install the two screws, plug in the power cord, and apply the tape. When installing the heatsink, align it with the holes before gently laying it down. Do not use brute force. Install the nine screws on the heatsink. We suggest screwing them halfway first, and when they're all in place, tighten them in sequence, to avoid uneven force.
After installing the fan and heat sink, don't forget to install the two antennas on the left side. Then apply the tape on the fan. After sorting out the tape, press down the two hinges and install the six screws. Finally, install the power cord downwards, and secure the metal cover. At this point, you can turn on the computer to check if the fans are working properly. Then cover the back panel. Install the 14 screws back according to their lengths. And then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.